Welcome, everyone. Today, I'll be talking to Jeremy Redleaf, the co-founder at Cave Day, a global community of makers that come together to do deep, focused work built with member space. Jeremy, welcome to the Membership Maker Podcast. We're excited to have you here. Thanks for having me on Team Member Space. I'm here. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Choosing a platform early on is important for membership and can have a huge impact on your business development, right? So what was your experience with using Cave Day's tools and what do you recommend to our users? Yeah, well, it's, it's obviously really challenging because you don't know what you don't know. You don't know what you're going to become and what you're going to need in a year or two years. But it's worth asking. It's worth saying, you know, okay, if we wanted to do this, you know, what, what, what are the impacts of these choices now? Um, so, we, you know, we, uh, our problem was that we started uh, with a different business, right? So uh, we started Cave Day. It was in New York City. It was in person. Um, and so that's all we cared about. Can do we, we need some tools that help us, you know, help, help people come to our events. Uh, and over time, we started doing things online. Uh, and then we started to realize, okay, well, not everyone's in the Eastern time zone and our, our scheduling tool doesn't have time zone support. So, all right, well, I guess people will just kind of convert it. Uh, but then we got more and more people all around the world as our online uh, community uh, grew. Uh, and we just, we, we, we had a tool that was built for New York. So, um, so at the time we didn't, you know, we just didn't know that, of course, this, this is a really challenging decision we made. This is a, this is a non-member space platform, obviously, that we were on before. And so, um, I, I, yeah, so, so I think, so I'm really into optionality, right? How can I keep as many options open as possible? How can I pick a tool that, you know, just gives me a ramp, you know, if I, you know, if, if this happened, can I still do this? If we want to change this, what, you know, what will that require and, uh, and the path to, to getting where we need to be. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Um, were there any specifics in terms of like either constraints or like use cases that you're like, you know what, for our business, we thought about X, Y, and Z. And that's why uh, that that's something that, you know, maybe is generally applicable to folks or, you know, just kind of like your methodology around how, how did you even consider what your constraints are, or what you needed in a tool? Yeah. So, so, you know, we operate with the same kind of tool sets as like a yoga studio. So people need to book classes, they need to be able to have memberships, passes, you know, cancellations, that kind of stuff. So that was all really, you know, clear, obviously, we needed to find a solution that worked for that. But the problem is that, you know, in this in 2021, there are so many off the shelf solutions for, you know, all sorts of different use cases, right? If you want to have a yoga studio, there are 20 options. Um, the challenge, though, is that almost none of them really, you know, help you grow beyond those first few features that they do really well. So, um, you know, so we just found that none of the solutions out there really had any kind of ramp up to, to a future where we needed to have more data around our users. If we wanted to ho host our own different tools, if we wanted to start a member form, none of these things were built in and, and nor was there a way to kind of fake it. So uh, it, it just, we, we just realized that, uh, you know, a lot of these tools just, they, they do what they do really well, but they don't think about, you know, uh, what might, what might be needed a few years later. So, uh, that's, that's the, does that make sense? I'm like the long Jeffy of like, Hey, are these tools or is the tool I'm using going to be able to, I guess, grow with me. Right. That's always a thing we've heard before. Like it's kind of hard to assess that. Like, cause you don't always know exactly how you're going to grow or what's going to change in the business. It's almost impossible to know that kind of thing. So at least picking a tool that you're aware of, okay, other businesses larger than me are using this. That's usually a good way to kind of be aware. Okay. I think, I think we can grow into this, right? If you're picking out a tool and it's like, Hey, uh, tool X, uh, do you have, you know, what's, what's your largest customer? G give me a rough idea. This way, they you can at least tell, does this work at scale? Because if they have no one big, then it's like, eh, there's probably a reason why. So um, that, that totally. kind of thing. You know, it's, it's funny when we were looking at platforms, obviously, you know, in, in the no code space, bubble comes up a lot uh, as, a, as a possibility. And we looked into we looked into bubble and um, and I look at some of their big use cases they're like look at look at what we built and a lot of them moved off the platform <laughs> and so i was like wait a minute the ones that you're saying like look at this thing we built aren't staying so what does that tell you know what does that say about you know about what's uh what this is for exactly it's like that it, it's tricky to just like you know obviously no platform's perfect everything's got flaws everything does some things better than others uh but being something that 
can like, you know, another good question besides who's your largest customer, because not, not everyone's going to answer that, right? Some businesses might be like, you know, we don't disclose that. Um, but another question might be, you know, who, what's the longest customer you've had, right? Mm -hmm. uh, that, that way you can tell it's like, all right, there's, you know, what's the average uh, length of people staying with you, that kind of thing. So you can kind of get a sense of, do people kind of try this and then churn out three months later? Or do people stick with it for the long haul? And, and why? Because there's a lot of options out there. So there must be a good reason why they're sticking with it, right? Yeah. And another, this is super nitty gritty, but I, I'm assuming this is a nitty gritty podcast. Um, another thing to really consider is, is how uh, billing is handled, right? So more and more of the world is handled on Stripe. And uh, our old platform was on Stripe, but they didn't use subscriptions on Stripe. They use invoices. So um, that's not something you can port to another platform. You can't, if you moved in member space, you can't just sort of seamlessly do that. You, still, you can still move people, but it's a little more manual. Um, so you know, in this you know, in this world where Stripe is sort of this layer that that can allow you to to own your uh, your interactions with your customers and and move from place to place, it's really important how the platform uses Stripe. Just a, or a point of order for for member space and people out there considering us, we do uh, create actual subscriptions in Stripe so that your members are not held hostage by our database. If you ever leave, your subscriptions and your customers leave with you. We don't we don't hold on to that data. So. Yeah. And that's a beautiful posture for, for a company. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's coming up more and more, right? Uh, you know, look at, you know, a company like Substack, um, which is just sort of a layer on top of Stripe. Uh, you know, you know, I don't know, I see more and more makers and creators wanting to own that, own that relationship. And, and, uh, I think platforms that, you know, allow that and still solve a problem are going to be increasingly valuable. Thanks for taking the time to talk with us, Jeremy. We really appreciate it. Would you like to share any resources or recommendations for folks trying to learn more about Cave Day? Yeah, sure. Come come check us out. We're at caveday.org. Uh, and if you use the code MEMBERSPACE, you can get a three sprint cave for free. Come check it out. Awesome. Thanks, Jeremy.